Do you like Blondie? <laughs> super hit. Oh, yeah. Glass. You know the, why it was super, super hit, folks? 38 years old? No, she Blondie didn't hit till she was, I think, 29, 30. Heart of Glass came out, which is hashtag old for women at the at pop music. Oh, yeah, I guess they're right. Same with Elvira. Elvira didn't hit till 30. Long in the tooth. Yeah. And Heart of Glass was big because it was... That song is like 50% disco, 50% new wave. And so when music was changing Ooh, over, straddling. she was like, what about this hit that's both, bitch? What about both, both of these nuts? Yeah. <laughs> both of these nasty yeah. nuts. I fucking love Blondie. Yeah, she's amazing. I got that album, Best of Blondie, when I was in high school. Because it was like, I don't know, like Walmart for $10 or something. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my God, this music. I love it. I wish there was more of it. Turns out they have a lot of it. <laughs> so it was- <laughs> If you loved Heart of Glass, you're going to love their entire catalog. <laughs> well, that's the problem with liking a new artist is you only like their one album they have and right. you have to wait for the next one if you fall in love with some old music mama buckle up buckle up there's bitch. decades buckle up bitch or uh, you fall in love with a uh, um um uh, movies yeah or just movies <laughs> let's take a break no it's too early we Cinema. gotta talk about tootsie we gotta fucking talk about tootsie bitch i finally saw tootsie i'd never seen it let me see you tootsie roll i was not fucking ready honey we didn't darling. talk about tootsie I've never seen it until now. Okay. So if I ever did talk about Tootsie, I was pretending it's it. <laughs> and now I fucking saw it. Okay. Dustin Hoffman, Terry Gar. Because honestly, you don't have to see Tootsie. We get it. Do we, we though? Do I'm we? gonna cross dress to be on TV. Like we get it. We, no, the 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 insurmountable prob the plot the the plot device of insurmountable problem only surmounted by cross dressing. Cross -dressing. It's so love, cunty. It's love. so cunty. One of the boys, Yentl. Tootsie, um, like, uh, yeah, um, uh, 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 Mrs. Doubtfire, uh, Mrs. Doubt, Mrs. Doubtfire is the answer. Get the bag on the TV. <laughs> I am watching that. You said cross firing, cross firing. <laughs> well, that's when, you, yeah. So in Tootsie, he's an acting teacher, and he's he has a he, Terry Gar is his student girlfriend that you're kind of sleeping together, and he's not right. getting work as a male actor. So he's like, let me try female acting because it's a it's easier. I, I don't know. I it wasn't yeah. really clear on why becoming a woman was the move yeah but he gets the cast on a soap right in my opinion what you in would, my you opinion fuck tootsie. if you need only the suggestion of an audition for a soap to cross dress mama <laughs> that was bom, headed in bom, that was bom. coming that was coming babe you know what i mean it's like drag queens who have no paid gigs they get one unpaid gig and immediately get acrylic nails and shave their eyebrows it's like honey <laughs> Jump aboard the Cross Dress Express Diva because Miss Fierce and Detective Fierce, bitch, that was coming. <laughs> the Trans Siberian Railway is taking <laughs> off. Choo <Girl>. choo. <laughs> the Polar Express. <laughs> it was coming. Mike, well, how about the, the, the truly, I mean, in these movies, most of these movies, Tootsie and Mrs. Delphire, for, for example, these people are not what I would call Pasolina. Well, Mrs. Delphire, <laughs> I would say yes. But. Is Mrs. Doubtfire passing? More, more tonight at seven. Passing what? Passing, passing what? Passing girl? the bar. Passing, passing a stone. Passing. <laughs> She's passing a stone. Well, if you're passing for an old lady, you're passing a stone. You're, you're passing a stone, and you're also um, the wait. So Tootsie, Tootsie, Tootsie. Would Lou. you fuck to Tootsie? I know um, you would. I you know, know even you would. Out of drag, Dustin Hoffman, I'm not really attracted to. What about what about the graduate? No, too short. Oh, he's like four two. Yeah, so well, that's how he passed as a woman on on the soap. Duh. And I believe in short kings. I love that. I'm not going to your kingdom. You know what I mean? I believe in short kings. I see you. I, I see, believe I in see you. you. I don't fuck with you though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, all drag is valid. Yeah. If you have to get on your knees to suck my dick, and then we need like a yoga, like a like a block for you to get on. Oh my god, a little padding. Yeah. <laughs> And I don't think we're all the same height laying down. That sounds like necrophilia. I was just gonna say that. That sounds like necro. T. <laughs> Like, what about, like, I wanted an acting gig, so I had to become a corpse to get fucked to get on TV. Let's take another break. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> basically, there's a, part, there's a few parts I loved, which is Dustin Hoffman is, he's improvising in the scenes, and he's giving the female characters more depth. Because in this series, the females are all wanting to fuck the doctor. Yeah. They all, they're all passive. Yeah. And he starts going off book and being like, no, I'm not doing that. Whatever. Yeah. And then he's cheating out and going, well, why would she do that? She's a woman with kids. Why would she blah, blah, blah. Mm. So he's adding depth to the character, which makes the viewers at home like that character. Yeah. And so it's kind of funny because while stealing a role, stealing a role from women, yeah. just like Stanley Tucci taking every gay role. I was this close to being a Double Wars Prada. 
every single bald gay role, every bald role, every gay role. Yeah. Everyone. Yeah. Everyone. Every, and people get minute. mad about other people doing it. When Stanley Tucci does it, no one cares. Why was he in burlesque and Double Wears Prada playing the same exact person? Always gay. I don't care about gay playing gay. I care about gay playing, good, good, good job playing gay. You just have to do a good job. Yeah. You just have to play the character. If you're like playing, if you're doing like an action something and you're like, hello, here we go, guys. I'm going to kill you. Like, yeah. that's not going to work. Yeah. <laughs> Although I live for like, um, you know, I mean, representation comes mm. in all forms. Mm. But when like Reno 911 was on TV and what's his name? Nick Swartzen was played Terry who gets arrested all the time. He's always like, he's the guy who's like, he, leave me alone. I'm dead. Wait, he was, but you, know, you can play, anybody can play gay, but not anybody gay can play straight. T. Well, duh. On Broadway, you can. You're my girlfriend and I love to eat your pussy. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Honey, baby doll. My wife, I and love you. I just love you. I my, think we should get married. My wife is giving break. My wife is having a baby right now. I hate. I asked her what her ring size was and she said she wanted a princess cut. I'm like, Honey, with those hands. <laughs> They're, it's so horrible. The musicality of um, musicals. Here I am sitting at the chair and talking to you on a microphone. I want to, all of my innards want to come spilling out of my mouth onto your body. My BFA in musical theater, I really think of it as like my dark past. Well, I, I okay. think of it as like Gypsy Rose. Like I've moved on now and I'm a new person. And the D is fire. And the D is fire. <laughs> yeah. No, but there's, there's from, from my uh, point of view, there's like four, Candor and Ebb. Of Kander, course. Candor and Ebb. <laughs> Yeah. Candor and Ebb. Cabaret, Chicago, uh, well, Sweet sort of Charity. Like, Wait, Sweet. No, no. So that's Vossi. Wait. Well, you could love Star Trek and then maybe be turned off by Trekkies. It's a little bit like yes. musical theater people make musical theater uncool. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And they're always like, um, wait, uh, wait, 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 musical is, wait, is Candor, what's Candor and Ebb again? Candor and Ebb is any, is like um, Cabaret, Chicago, anything and, that's like boom, do, do, boom, 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 and boom, the, boom, 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 Kendra yeah, Nebb a lot of Fosse. Fosse. Yes. Because Fosse's so cunt. Kendra Nebb, think of like when you're good to mama, life is Chicago, a cabaret. The cabaret, yeah. These are all, yeah. and, and then Sweet Charity. The rink. The, yeah, yeah. Sweet Charity, of course. Boom, 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 boom. Iconic. Boom. And then, wait, have you seen, fuck, I know I've sent it to you probably like 416,000 times, Liza Minnelli in um, doing that number. Yeah, yeah. You send it on a loop. Maybe like once every two hours, you two might to have, three hours. You might have like an auto kind of like. Send. I'm like, oh shoot, I, where am I? Send you the thing. I'm on your yeah. mailing list. <laughs> it's a, it's I'm a, just, a I need to list. see you in that outfit. Like yesterday. Do you want to see me in that wig? No. Okay, <laughs> Dina Martino. Yes. It would be <gasps> Dina Martino. Oh my God. It would be. We got to go back to Tootsie. Okay. He says, there's a part where there, she's a good, he's a good actor in the show and he's yes. bringing a lot of life to the character. Do the voice. And the other, well, I play Titsy, girl. It's it's a kind of bunny. Bunny, it's bunny. And it's there's totally a part, bunny. There's a part where he goes to his agent, <laughs> and he goes up to his agent, and he's like, "It's me. I got the role. Can you believe it? Because we're supposed to believe no one knows that doesn't happen." And then there's a part where he goes, "Um, he goes, can you believe it? They almost didn't give me the role because I was almost too feminine." Bitch, where? Uh, and then I guess bitch, da where? David Silver told me that Dustin Hoffman, because we we watched that and we watched some like it hot. That's what you told me. Yeah, that David he, told me that she was saying, Dustin Hoffman was saying that she, she'd she never been flummoxed. criticized about like her, she, she was kind of hurt that people were saying how ugly yeah. she was. Hello, drag. ugly. Yeah, it was hello, ugly. Which is so, yeah. it's like, it's like Tyra in the, in the, in the, in the, the headscarf. He, wait, 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 what do you mean? Like does drag once. Now I know what it's like to be a woman. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, oh yeah. I mean, it's like, it's like you were a old dog. That was old yeller. Yeah. And you were, you were. Confused about you being not a swimsuit cover model? Yeah, I mean, in some ways it's per, like progressive because he's taking this background 2D women's role uh -huh. and he's making her the star of the show by making her character mm -hmm. matter. Yeah. And so it's very like pro women in TV, the way he creates the star of the show. Yeah. But she's Tootsie, a runaway hit. Tootsie Lou. Tootsie. Him putting on the wig. There's scenes where he has the wig on and he wakes his roommate up, who's Bill Murray, and is like, what do you think? And I'm just, wh why is it always. The shortest fucking ugliest wig and glasses for for female drag. 
Why not the long unit? Why not the vanity? Why not the why Uberaya? Not the, why not the Uberaya in um in like um in a six thirteen or like a twenty four six thirteen a honey blend. mix? Yeah, a honey blonde <laughs> with like a root. <laughs> yeah, with a root. If you and I directed Ventilated. Tootsie, Ventilated. if you and I directed Tootsie, well, she would have been up on she would have been up on a chair with pearls on. Oh yeah, with her long acrylic nails, rubbing her fucking pussy. Her fucking giant enormous um, breastplate with a thing like bikini stringed uh, uh, top that's only like cutting through her giant nipples. Yes. Just like in wet. We're spraying her between takes all wet. Like the glycerin, not even water. Yes. Glycerin. Yes. She's soaking wet. Corn syrup. <laughs> Corn syrup. She looks like she's dipped in maple syrup. I need to talk about Dune. Did, wait, did you see Dune? Yes, I did. Can we... Before we get to Dune, can I tell you the other okay. piggyback I watched? Yes. So after Tootsie, which was crazy, one of my other favorite parts that you and I felt very strongly, I know. There's a part where she's acting and they go, go in for a tight shot. And the producers go, not too tight. <laughs> that I felt. It's like, your buzz, your girlfriend, woof. woof. Yes. <laughs> and then David made me watch Some Like It Hot. Yeah. Never seen it. Yeah. Another classic uh, cross-dressing uh, to get on it. Like, it's like the birdcage. I don't want to go to jail. That was my first Maryland movie. Mm-hmm. I'd never seen a Maryland movie. Hey, you never seen, oh, <laughs> no. What, what but, about Gentlemen Prefer Blonde? You ever seen that one? Oh, I guess I had seen that. I don't know. That is uh, delicious. But, but um, okay, I've so, never really seen a Maryland movie, okay. like sitting, really watching it. Some like, oh, that's Jack Lemon and Walt. No. Um, J- Jamie Lee, Janie Lee Kermis's dad. <laughs> Tony Kernis. Tony Kernis. Tony Tony Kernis. Tony Lee Kernis and- Janie Lee Kernis and the Gurney. So, so Tony Kernis and then uh, Janie Jimplin or uh, Jackie Jormp Jomp? Who was the other guy? <laughs> um, Reese something something. No, I don't know. Re- Jack Lemon. Jack Lemon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. Love. So they were, and they, they are musicians yep. and they can't, they see a job posting for an all girl band. Oh yeah. Of course the solution is cross dress. Crossy. Yes. Cross, crossy. Crossy. Crossing, and crossing over crossing with John over <laughs> Crossing the New York Times Edwards. Yes, the New York Girl. Times crossword puzzle. Oh, girl. Baby. <laughs> She's a, a part time crossing guard, honey. So they're riding ah. on a bus. And in all these movies, what happens uh, is uh. somebody falls in love in their drag character, and everything becomes light lesbian. Because he almost falls in love with Jessica Lang. Mama, in Terry but, Gore? Well, Terry Gar is his girlfriend. Is his girlfriend. That's his girlfriend. That's but right. But then he has a tryst with Jessica Lang. Yeah. And, and then, she's confused because she's married and she's like, but you're you're a woman. And uh-huh. I, what I, about I, the old guy on the soap who is can't get enough of Miss Tootsie Lou? Well, there's always well, there's tropes. One is one is accidentally falling in love, and yes. then you make the person you're in love with confused about their sexuality. Yeah. Yeah. Happens in Yantel, happens in all And the other Everybody. thing is somebody is completely powerless to your sexuality. Some dude is like, yeah. you're the hottest one I've ever seen. I know. In Some Like It Hot, it's a billionaire. And the guy is considering staying in drag to be rich. They're like, you're not a woman. And Tony, uh, 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 Tony Curtis is like, you're not a woman. And, he's, and Mr. Lemon's like, well, he's rich. Mama, if the price is right. That's the house of hidden <laughs> meanings. <laughs> I want to talk to you Schwab. about Allstora. <laughs> 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 Mary, I need to tell you. I need to tell you. I need to tell you about it. The Chinese theater saw me. I was seated for that. The the TCL. The Chinese is that what it is? theater. Oh yeah, I just call it the TLC theater. And that's the TLC not right. theater. Yeah, the two uh, the two live crew or TL or or T pa- T left eye and Chili theater. The crazy the crazy sexy cool AMC stub. <laughs> yeah. But wait, also two live crew. Do you remember two live crew? Before your time, rap band. Two live crew. Um, anybody? Nope. Bueller. Okay. Um, Dune. The costume, designery on that fucking. Film. Does I, it? Does I it, squirt. I, did you I, like it as much as Doom One? I shat in the mother toilet. I ate and shat in the. It, I loved it just as much. I actually loved it more because there was more action and more, more, a lot more of range of characters. It was so visually like I was chomp, chomp, chomping, uh-huh. chomping. The Harkonnens, the bald people that you, both you and oh, I yeah, look people like. People keep tagging Mama. us as Austin, Austin Butler, Butler, which. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> but even Austin Butler with no eyebrows, uh huh. We, we're not exactly on that level. Honey, there is a scene, his first scene, he is, um, he plays a psychopath from um, 
uh, this uh, evil world where everybody's black and white. It's like a UV sun is so fierce. It's a it's a shot of him shirtless and jacked and and it is. I was like, I will be uh, jerking it to that later on. Mm-hmm. Jerking it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it was so. It was like a goth person's um, for the costumes and the and the the vibe. It was like H R Geiger, like um, all inspired design. It was so. It was just. It was a feast for the eyeballs, and I can't get enough. of How it. long is it? It's three fucking hours long. Is that it's okay? a little too long for me in the theater? Let me tell you that, honey. Austin Butler. Yeah, yeah. Do you want when once the um I could tell when the movie was uh, ending. I was like this. I mean, I loved every moment of it, but I was like this, and I went. I went to that bathroom so I was like a wily coyote with a dust cloud going to the bathroom to pee because I'm not gonna leave. Yeah. Do you leave the theater never, never. to go? Never. What's never. the point? I've never walked out of a movie and I've never left to pee. I've only walked out of one movie in my two movies. In, six, I've watched out a bunch of movies because what if I miss the thing, the moment? Oh, a hundred percent. What are you supposed to do? Come back and turn to the person next to you and go, "What, what did I miss?" Yeah, loudly, loudly, or ask the person behind you, "Hey, I was in the bathroom. What, what, what? You know." It was, uh, I walked out of Hanging Up with Diane Keaton, Meg Ryan, and um, uh, Annette Benning. Hanging Up. Oh, horrible film. Horrible film. Not on level, not on Dune level. No. That film is the, what I think turned me into a drug addict. <laughs> Just kidding. So if we watch it in reverse, <laughs> we break hanging, the curse. Hanging, hanging, what's the opposite Hanging Up? You wish Holding to have the on? curse reversed. You need a certain potion first. <laughs> pushing down. <laughs> yeah, pushing down. <laughs> Horrible film. And Nora fuck, Ephron. And fuck Into the Woods. I, you know what? I want you to say, because that, this, that, this, this is my crack. We and have people say into these oatmeal the cookies are like crack. That to me, my ears is like crack. Say it again. Fuck Into the Woods. Uh, uh, That's uh, one hot pleasure for me. Fuck Into the Woods. Fuck Into the Woods. That Fuck that shit. Fuck it right in the pussy. The milk is white as snow. Oh. Hand, blah, I can't take you, it. And your pants are black and shoes are white. And here we are sitting in a room dunking on the podcast. I can't take it. It's like Sweeney Todd also. Go get fucked. Yeah. Get fucked. Yeah. But but less so than Into the Woods. In, into the Woods can go fuck itself up the butt. It sure can. With a and hemorrhoid. I know it's high quality. Oh, who can but I don't like it. it. That's fine. We but don't, I don't like it. <laughs> I wish. I wish it was over. <laughs> I wish this movie never existed so I wouldn't have to. Yeah. Can I? T- you, can we talk trauma? I need to tell you about what happened at the pit stop. What? Um, I was leaving the pit stop and I wore this like little little pink sequin disco. It was the kind of mini dress with tits built in. That oh. one I showed you where it's like lays perfectly oh, flush to my skin. Love that. Apparently, between the driver, the PAs, Brandon, and me, the dress got put in the back of the car and it was raining and the driver pushed close on the door and as the door was closing, it fell into the street in the garment bag and they have footage at Paramount of an unhoused individual just grabbing it. Love that. So I just am out like a $500 custom dress. But look on the bright side. That unhoused person, I say homeless, is up. I say outdoorsy. <laughs> Mountain people. We're not supposed to say <laughs> no, homeless. Un, uh, no, is unhoused okay? So, so uh, I'm of the opinion, this is just my opinion, by the way. Unhoused, I believe, is a euphemism. I felt, I find it, personally, I find it patronizing. Homeless, also, I don't know, it's in some ways is more sad and more real. This person doesn't have a home. Yeah, a I home mean, base. It's like a house, unhoused. fuck a house. Unhoused, like as, uh, yeah, that, a building. That sounds like, it sounds like the kind of uh, the verbiage that is like sanitized in order to like, um, not treat a, a, a problem. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. Not having a building, yeah, it sucks. But like not having a, a mental, spiritual place that's a home is like, I think that's more, that's more what we should feel. I don't know. We should yeah. speak for the homeless. The, uh, the uh, outdoorsy. The outdoorsy. I can speak for mountain people. Tiny home people. Van life. Van Tiny life. home people. There's a lot of van life people in West Hollywood. Well, van life. What is that life? Van life? Van City Reynolds. Mama, Van City Reynolds. Well, some people want to live outside, which is fine. I yeah. mean, they, they want to live in a van. Do you live? Do you like camping? No. Yeah. No. I'd Sh- rather live in a van. Have you shat in the woods? Is the, is the past tense of shit shat or have you shit in the woods? When I did the marathon, have you I shit in the woods? had a hemorrhoid and I had a uh, preparation H suppository at my ass during the, during the marathon and sh- actually shit out, the, shit out the suppository during the run. I had to wipe my ass at a leaf in Cedarburg, Wisconsin. 
In the broad daylight. It's 48 degrees outside. Accidentally? Yeah. Yeah. So that dress is gone. And I just hope whoever stole it is a size 14. And since it has breasts sewn into it, I hope they Wish she about a size 14? No breasts. Wish she about a size 14? Exactly. <laughs> I hope they're a size 14 with no breasts. I hope, I hope Frederica hope Bimmel gets serve. it. Yeah, I hope Frederica Bimmel is wearing it in the in the, um, in the, in the, the little the, the well right now. I had to call Amy and be like, can you remake this? I guess pick a different pink because I don't want a copy of it. But like that dress is gone. It's okay. It's okay. Things happen. At least you got your legs. What if, if anybody on who has it is listening to this, yes, please. I'm willing to give like, it to me, and I'll sell it back to her. <laughs> I'm willing to like um, negotiate. She, yeah, she's Hostage, willing to suck like, your cock. Yeah, to you want to see that. your daughter alive again? Like, I want to see my dress again. We're gonna get Liam Neeson on the case. Taken. 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 Slates. Taken. <laughs> Wait, I've, um, I, I, I need you to know about Dune again. Tell me about it. I need you to know how. Did you get to see Rebecca Ferguson? I sure did. And She's in it again. She ate and shit all over them. Mr. Timothée? Timothée Chalamet. Timothée. Took a shit in the mother toilet. Got it. He was he was giving full, he was full on Nell. It was good. It was, he was great. He's the least, in, for my. I mean, he's a lovely, lovely guy, little bird boy. Apparently he's got a big swinging dong that he gave syphilis to a whole bunch of people at NYU. It's just hearsay. And, uh, but he's like, uh, he is very serviceable as the lead role. Wonderful actor. It's all the other characters, though, that really get my fucking juices flowing. Rebecca Ferguson eating, shitting in the mother toilet. Literally, she's mother, Reverend Mother. Did and you see the guy at the theater on a hoverboard with that dune thing? Riding the sandworm? Live. Fucking Live. A, fucking A. Live. Yeah. I loved that it was like people would clap at the end of the movie. I'm like, they're not here, you know? Right. Is when is when have, have you ever experienced that? I, that's a new thing for me. People clapping at the end of a film in a cinema where the director- They do it the in cast, LA. Like, oh, have you ever been to a premiere? Well, the premiere is different. They, in they're, premieres, they're there. they clap for, No, in premieres, there, though. as every credit rolls, film by, in the beginning, when it's like film okay. by, they clap for everything. Okay, that's cool, though, because it's, they're there, though. Yeah. But clapping at the end, I think is funny. It's like, I know we all got to go to the bathroom. What are y'all playing at? Oh, in LA, they sit and watch the whole credits. Well, I'm they not- They watch the whole mama, credits. That's crazy. The, the only thing that was Do not you also crazy- like open a candy bar and eat the wrapper? Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I, I have my cereal box. I just put it in my holding in my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Even if your husband is like stunt woman one, well, wife, I don't know. Even they're going to turn and be like, we don't have to wait for my fucking name. No. I, I promise I'm in it. No, my God. I, th- that is so insufferable. Although the only thing is that sometimes, you know, in those Marvel fucking movies, there's always like an Easter egg at the end of the credits. But in the Terrifier part two, yeah. if, you, if you happen to, after two and a half hours of brutality, if you happen to just find yourself planted in that theater seat, you were treated to the most wonderful little um, post-credit uh, prologue, epilogue rather, um, where uh, art the, where a woman was scrawling in um, vagina blood on an asylum wall and then gave birth to a severed head. Bonk, 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 beat it up. Was she in a sparkly dress? <laughs> She's about a size 14. <laughs> she a size 14. I gotta tell you one more thing before. Uh, well, we're not even that far into it, I guess. Mm. Our guest today is here who's really good. Hello. No, she smells like shit. Yeah, tune in next week because the guest is fierce. The guest, oh, the guest is hunty. Yeah, it's fierce. It's fi- it's fierce. Hi, it it is fierce. Um, it's fi- It, in general, as a theory, is fierce. But this person is also fierce. She's serving. I got to tell you something. Something not as good as Dune happened to okay. me. Okay. So, you know, I've been having some health problems. <laughs> My mobility is very low. Thank you. <laughs> it's just funny. That's funny. Yeah, I, I think it's super funny. <laughs> no, it's just um, funny the way you said it. Um, would you? Pr- is that like semantic? Should I say like problems of the health? Uh, no, I think you should say. You know, I've been Ill. unhealthy American. You know, I've been ill. I've been ill. Ill. Um, and my mobility has been somewhat limited, mm-hmm. so I've had to find special ways to get to work and things. Right? Wheelchair. 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 Not a wheelchair, okay. um, but last week I got a service where they pick me up at the house, drive me to LAX, a different building where there's a secret, oh, secret lounge. Oh my God. We get there. They take my ID and my bags and they just sit me down in a lounge and I eat breakfast and they do all the ticketing, the baggage. I don't even participate. Then they say, Mr. Fergus, if you're finished with your breakfast, we'd love to take you to the plane now. They put me in a car, drove me on the tarmac to the side of the plane, and I just walked up the stairs and sat in my seat. There was no TSA. I didn't even go in LAX. Mama. 
You don't you dare say this out loud on the pod. No, the secret is out, hunty. It was the secret is out be- because I've had some walking problems. Mm-hmm. It was life changing because I didn't incredible. have to walk through the fucking airport. What about going to Heathrow? Could you imagine? Well, could you imagine? They don't have it at every airport. No, but I mean, but like with with this. your with your like not being ambulatory. I would have to get help. Oh yeah, yeah. So on the way back, yes, two days ago. Get this. I land. I get the same service, but in reverse. I get the plane stops. I get off the plane. Right when I get off the plane, they have a sign. Eject button. They put me in a car on the tarmac where they had a meal for me. And they drove me straight to my house with my bags. No baggage what? claim. Was this like a million no nothing. dollars? Like a million. No bra. And no, no panties. panties. <laughs> it was a lot of money. No, yeah. I was going to say, it sounds like a PJ. It was a it lot of like money. It sounds like a PJ. It was a lot of money. Yeah. Just the service, the car thing, just the car thing to pick me up on the tarmac and drive me to the house was like $800. That's actually not as much as I was going to guess. But the car, even if I just got a car service, that's a few hundred. And if it saves me having to walk through the airport at this moment in my life, I was like, let's just splurge on it. Yeah. Have you taken a private jet? Never. Never. Have you? Once. You did? Yeah. Where? It was um, in, um, it was for an Urban Decay gig long time ago and it was so strange urban decay flew you private mm-hmm. to vegas mm-hmm. to vegas and new orleans and another place we took it i think twice or two or three times it was wild urban decay if you could send me brow blade and cafe kitty um, <laughs> i think i could get a few brow pencils since you're flying this sack of shit all yeah. over private <laughs> yeah yeah it was crazy it was crazy it was like very strange it was a small plane though that's the only thing that's a little rickety small planes is a little scary yeah but you but, just go you're just boop boop boopy doop it's weird but, but the, po- the fantasy of not even going into LAX. Well, that's the fantasy. And not e- I, I got off the plane. They already had my bags off the plane and yeah. put me in an SUV and drove me straight to my house. Why no baggage claim. Let me ask you this. This is something that I I truly think about a lot since we both have tr- have had the opportunity and the I guess the good fortune to travel a lot and uh, uh, most often at other people's expense. Hello. Yeah. Um, why don't they have a tranquilizer service? Mama, like fifth element. Yes. Have a good flight, Mr. Dallas. Push the button. Like they need it. This is where they need that service. And they nerve need, gas. Nerve gas, anything. Like literally, Movado watch. You know, like um, champagne, cocaine. Um, uh, uh, what was that? The uh, Puerto Vallarta. I want the Michael Jackson propothal. Yes. What about this audio clip of Michael Jackson? Oh, please stop it. That's not true. They made it up. They, made it. they my, lie. My shoulder. My shoulder is dislocated. <laughs> I can only move it to That's here. That's you on the plane. That's you on the plane. My shoulders are I need a ride and also some breakfast, please. Yeah, entirely. <laughs> I'm so hungry and I cannot walk. But that's me. I'm grateful I got in the car and it was a room temp crudite with Thai noodles. I said, what the fuck is this? Because I don't want to cheat on my vegetarianism, but I've been having a pretty hardcore anemia. So I've been introducing chicken into my diet oh, yeah. to try to balance everything out. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to say I'm going to do it forever, but let me tell you something about Miss Chicken. Miss Chicken? And I love, I, I, I clucked a lot of years not eating animals. Clucked a lot so of years, I, I thought what you said. So, so I hope I bought myself a few months of maybe rebalancing my diet here. Well, it's not a, it's not a moral issue. Well, I it don't think for it's me. A, okay, okay. Jesus Christ. But if, okay. if I shut down the fact that that's Miss Cluck Cluck, that's Miss Chicken Run. Mm-hmm. Um, She's delicious. Have you ever fucking had... Have you ever fucking had like a Wendy's chicken sandwich? Yeah, have yeah, you so ever had a Chipotle burrito with chicken? This is this now. I is, feel like somebody who's talking about doing drugs, having sex. Uh, I'm like, have you ever got your pussy ate on meth? Yeah, you know what I mean. Now I'm like, <laughs> but also you need to dream bigger, chicken wise, girl, because you've only scratched the surface. If like Wendy's and Chipotle is the is the is the gate is the is the heaven point of heaven, the point of like uh, the climax. There's a whole other level. There's an elevator goes all the way up, baby. Chicken it's, cordon bleu, chicken cacciatore, yeah. chicken parmesan. Um, I mean, come on, Miss Chicken. Miss Chicken. I've yeah. been really eating chicken. I've been doing chicken stuff. Don't you gr- get back here, you bitch? Our guest is leaving. Sorry, sorry our, you know. Sorry, we're not hot and young enough for you, you bitch. Taco Bell's here, Miss Chicken. Oh, speaking of, um, do they feed you at home? No. Who's they? The royal they? <laughs> <laughs> Who's they? God. <laughs> well, my brother's here, and he is feeding. He's staying with you. Uh huh. Is Graham here? Uh, no, it's just oh. my brother. My brother's just like a little like week of um a week of like a uh, retreat. He's on retreat at my uh, in my pergola. He's retreating meditating. to you. Meditating. He's coming to live with you to calm I down. I know, Mama. That tells you that 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 that's a portent, an ominous portent of his home here? life. Um, a week. My brother's coming this week. I'm I, not kidding. It's so weird. Oh, well, they know each other though. I think they're hanging out tonight. They fucking. <laughs> 
the PT and the lawyer. My brother's visiting. The lawyer? Week. Yeah. He's going to give you some legal advice? Well, I'm trying to hang out with them. Yeah? Because we've kind of like been- um, what, do you, what, what do you all do together? I think we've been lukewarm on each other for the first like 30 years of life. <laughs> and we're trying to like, trying to trying to stage something. I know what you coup. can do. Spicy chicken salad. Girl, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to kind of January 6th our relationship. Like go in, Feel up storm it. <laughs> You know, like feel, uh, feel up Nancy Pelosi's big Italian titties. Yes. <laughs> Wait, did you see Marjorie Taylor Greene and all her? And her did you see the clip of Joe Biden reacting to Marjorie Taylor Greene? And I did not, but I think you must show it to me at once. She's in a red, like Make America Great Again hat, in a red fucking shirt, in a red blazer with all these buttons that say crazy shit. I think it says like say her name, which I think is her name. Like it doesn't <laughs> even matter. And Joe Biden turns and sees her, and once in a while, Joe Biden does high comedy okay. the way all old people do. Of course, Joe Biden turns and sees her and just goes like. To her outfit and she's standing there in all red like and what which i don't think you're allowed to go to those type of events and wear like you can't do like macy gray a gown this is my album drops right. january 6th or whatever right 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 it's just it's <laughs> macy gray my album drops yeah. <laughs> well do you remember when macy gray had that gown that says she went to like a grammys with a gown that said my album drops and the date yeah i don't like also i really don't like um you know what I, I don't like fashion statements. <gasps> At the end of Love Is Blind, this girl had she had writing embroidered into her veil. Could you see it and though? I, yeah, was and it I like thought of you first? Okay, because you I, hate writing on clothes. I hate like it's like um, um, like well, I mean this is different. I'm not. I'm like when at the Oscars. I mean like when Who you're making that? A, um, um, I don't remember. Love that. Yeah. And um, when someone's at the Oscars and they're trying to make a political statement with their like gown or whatever, I'm like, yeah, just, I was like, you're probably worth $30 million. Why don't you fix the problem, bitch? Didn't they do something in, at an award show a few years ago where everyone wore a color? They all wore, though all the women wore black in, um, in, in paying so, sort of in solidarity for the Me Too movement, which I thought was interesting. But you know what also is interesting? I watched this clip of, a, a, a super clip of of stars thinking Harvey Weinstein in their acceptance speeches at the Oscars. Not wild. Everyone. No, because part of the hush month, well, the hush of that is I also have to pretend to be grateful. Yeah. I mean, because it's like two two things can be true at the same time. He can produce really amazing pictures and also be a horrible monster. Right. Yeah. You know, I feel that way about, um, I don't know if we've talked about this, but a couple years ago, I discovered the music of Marilyn Manson. I'd never heard it really. Oh, yeah. He always scared me. Mm. And in 2018 or something, 2020. Not late. Yeah. Whoa. I listened to some of his records for the first time mm. and I was like, this music is great. Mm -hmm. And the more I looked into it, I was like, oh, he's kind of doing drag. I was like, this oh, yeah. is kind of gay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to find out more about Marilyn Manson. And then I found out, Oh, that album you like? Well, let me tell you, that's never gonna like you're, you're not allowed to. You're not gonna be tweeting about that today. No, no, yeah, you definitely. Just, I mean, it's like, but it made me retroactively wish mm. when I was a young gay kid, I had seen through the spook and been like, drag. Oh yeah, that's what I. I you was know? I was into him like when the uh, when his EP "Smells Like Children" came out before he got super glam draggy, and it's funny if you. I mean, obviously you know the cycle of music is so interesting that like drag is always factored in. Yeah, like Poison, White Snake, those guys. Mary, they, they were doing more drag than Drag Race. T. Brett Michaels, not Brett Michaels. Um, uh, D. Snyder follows me on Twitter. D. Snyder. Um, uh, Tommy Lee. Um, Brett, not, not Brett. Kiss. Kiss, duh. Right. Yeah. I mean, they're doing, they have more makeup than um, uh, Trinity the Tuck Taylor has on. Yeah. You know. I have a couple more things to talk to you about. Because I only have one with you today before our guest. And yes. I haven't seen you in a while, so oh, I actually have some good yes, things. Yes, girl. Okay. Oh, haven't seen each other in a while, girl. I missed you, girl. Oh, oh, girl. All I want to talk about is celebrities with you lately. Have you seen the clip of Anne Hathaway taking pictures of fans? No. Okay. She gets out of a car, and all these fans rush her. Mm -hmm. Um, this is a two-part story. There's this one story where this guy, his thing is going up to pop stars and singing their music in their face, and he does it all the time. And there's and this clip context? of Billie Eilish seeing him and go, "Oh no." <laughs> And she goes, I'm not going to sit here and let you sing at me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so fierce. I love her. So fierce. I recently got, I recently sort of discovered her. I'm kind of late to the party. Oh, Pretty, she's, that, uh, she is that Oscar so good. is deserved. That, what was I made for song makes me cry every time I hear. It's my favorite part of the Barbie movie was that song. I mean, I, this is, this is going to be the bridge between um uh, our episode and our guest, but she, um so Labada 
uh, famously ripped off her ba- song "Bad Guy," the melody. And I was like, I watched the the video, the music video for "Bad Guy" recently, and I was like, oh, oh, so little girl, little girl, you're a genius, mm-hmm. little girl, yeah, little the, girl. The lyrics, um, the video she's, she's is amazing. the music video is, or then she she has two Oscars. Mama, she's like twenty two years old. Mama, the 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 video and song for um, what's the song? Uh, uh, the sleep paralysis one, something a friend, bury a friend. Have you seen that shit? No. Fucking, you better go. You better take your uh, bony ass out of that chair and um, go watch it right away. Miss Health Problem. Miss Health Problem. <laughs> um, Miss I gotta Ill. tell Miss so, Miss so, 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 Elliot. Uh, girl, <laughs> not you. I'm not gonna let you sing, you bro. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, oh no. Oh, no. She goes, you. oh no. And then she goes, I'm not going to let you sing at me, bro. She's, she's like, I'm not going to stand here and listen to you sing, bro. She's cunt. She is cunty. So Anne Hathaway gets out of his car and everyone runs at her and she goes, everyone stop. Everyone take a few paces back. I will come to you. There is no need to rush. We will do this one at a time. Thank you. Yes, Eileen, do she it. She freezes them with their star power and goes, there's no urgency. I yeah. see all of you, yeah. and we're going to take these photos. Yeah. And, and it, you don't have to swarm yeah. me for that to happen. Yeah. If you come at me one more inch, I will take my claw and rip out your trachea and then stuck it up my pussy. But I, any half the way. I thought you would like that. I love it. I, can you send me the clip? I'll Maureen? send it to you. I'll send it to you. I love it. Yeah. Any Hathaway is so cuntylicious, diva.com. I'll send it to you. There's another phenomenon on the internet that I have interest in, which is videos about military dads surprising kids who don't know their home. Like pranking them though? No, 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 oh. no, no. Yeah, they. No, like the kid is, let's say, um, in class, and okay. the teacher goes, "Oh, we have a special guest today," and the dad walks in in uniform, and the kid didn't know the dad was coming home from Iraq or whatever. Whoa! But my question is, obviously Porn? the mom knows. Porn. Oh, so the mom is going, "No, no, don't tell him. Let's film it." I think that that's also that feels fucked. That's fucked and also hugely humiliatingly embarrassing. Like, do you yeah. remember when so we were in Salt Lake City and all the Mormon people are welcoming their people back from whatever? All are welcome. It was like what? It was like y'all are in a cult. This is creepy. Although I would fuck all of you. I have Mormon underwear on today. Uh. This is what they wear in the porn. This is what they wear in the porn. No, they're long. They're long. They're full body. (laughs) Nice try, Annie. Stop. Blur it out. Take a breath. Yeah, start. Take a breath. (laughs) We'll do this one at a time. I have one pair of white boxer shorts. Whenever I wear them, I'm like, Mormon. I hope that the the camera caught you at the back of your butt and it was just brown and red. Shit and blood stains. Shit and blood stains. Now that I can't run, do you know how embarrassed I am of my lower body right now? No, tell us. Miss Tiny Stick Legs, Miss Flat Butt. Miss Flat Butt, Miss Miss Ill. Flat Butt, Miss Tiny Stick Legs. Miss Iliot. Have you ever thought I was in bad shape before? Oh, shit. Well, but, 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 but what about... Um, um, uh, da, 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 da. Well, you know who I've been seeing. Yeah, yeah. We're not supposed to say his name. I asked him today. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, Jake. <laughs> Jake. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, he's been doing what he calls restorative stretching. Yeah. And it's been very he's beneficial, but, you know. Yeah. Okay, we got we to gotta wrap it up. I asked. In short... It's 38 minutes. Can I have five more minutes? Oh Fuck. my God, God, Jesus. Well, it's like, well, it's like we don't have a guest waiting. Um, my other thing was, why do twins look different? We don't have to do the end part. We don't have to. <laughs> no, I want to talk about fraternal versus identical. Fraternal versus identical. Fraternal, identical, fraternal. Twins look different as they get older. Why? Well, sun damage. <laughs> Diet choices. Wait, what? Twins Ident- we're when talking they're about born, identical like, twins, twin right? children look it. like twins. And then twins in their 40s, you're like, oh, yeah, you used to be identical. Then one of you took the high road or something. Well, there's, I mean, no, I think, I don't know. And that's the end of the podcast. No, 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 that's no, no, all wait. I no, no, to no, wait, wait, I'm no, not done with not that. A good story. No, 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 shut up, shut up, shut up. Fraternal twins, that's the real T. Well, do you know the difference? Yeah, identical is identical. Fraternals, and fr- they're, they're, or they're twins, but Fraternal, they look, the, the two eggs get yeah, cer- split. certified. Certified. Whatever. Fresh by rotten certified tomatoes. Fresh by rotten tomatoes. <laughs> and in identical, one cell divides. Okay. Fierce. I didn't know that. Identical. So that's but the there's like It's like um, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito. Yes. But there was, I we had, our high school was just rotten with twins. It was like twins everywhere. Really? Yeah. You swing a bag and you hit a bunch of twins. <laughs> In, in in my high school. Oh yeah. What what do you think about like triplets? Because that's disgusting. Fucking crazy too. Disgusting. But imagine if there was me and then two people look just like me around. 
No. Three times, it's too, too much. It's, that's DTM, what doing too much. I would kill it. It. Wouldn't let her reach, when, wouldn't let her transition you were a kid, to any gender. Did you wish you had a twin? No. I used to wish I had a twin. I thought it was so cool. No, because I, I like I said, I, there was so many twins around and I knew they were up to no good. Well, I think growing up, my financial situation, I was like, I'm glad that I'm not a twin. My, and then my mom was like, well, let's have two more. And I'm like, well, you should have just had a twin, bitch. I mean, T. Twin drag queens? Mary K- Oh, I guess it exists. Oh, uh, the uh, the uh, uh, paprika uh, uh, and tum- turmeric or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Pap- paprika yeah. and turmeric. Yeah, um, coriander and um, 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 uh, uh, thyme and allspice. <laughs> yeah, coriander and um, and turmeric. Coriander and turmeric. B twelve and fish oil. <laughs> whatever. I don't know. Johns Hopkins in Columbia University. Speaking of on my wellness journey, you know I'm Courtney Act with my vitamins. Well, yes. Okay, great. This, I take, I drink that AG1 every day and I take so many fish oils, but, so but many of all that. That's great. That's great. However, and listen, don't talk, I, I don't take this advice. I've just learned it, but it's better to get all your nutrients from food if you can. If yeah, you I'm can, also trying to do can. that. Yeah, yeah. That's the bet. That, Green that, that's kale. The, yes. The yeah. skin of blackberries. Oh, okay, Miss Skin. Skims. Wait, wait, wait. Smoothies. Wait, wait, wait. Last, last thing, I swear to God. BM up. See, Pagetti. Oh, yeah. I have had this. See, Pagetti, that one doesn't really make sense So to me. I'm not super, there's this uh, uh, girl on Instagram and TikTok who I am now completely obsessed. It is now a penetrating uh, vocal stim, whatever you call that, that repetitive echolalia type of thing. I cannot stop saying it. She does, she's a Vietnamese and she does a, has, has a hilarious TikTok where she um, she speaks in this like out, uh, outrageously over exaggerated Vietnamese accent saying like, I mean, I just, can I just play? Of course. Okay. It's, it's just, it's so funny. It's just so funny. It's like, she's it's just, so, it tickles the ear to hear like how somebody would pronounce hamburger if they're not an English speaker first. It is you know I mean? so fucking, I mean, it's, it's, it's so funny. S- I can't deal spaghetti, with it. Spaghetti, I don't get though. See, she says, well, see spaghetti. So it's see, so there's a, there's an, there's no like, um, so anything to, to, so is I like, guess there's like a, you don't combine those consonant sounds apparently. But I mean, interesting. It's like the accent. Can you say these names in Vietnamese? Walmart, Costco, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Google, Victoria's Secret, Netflix, Hermes, Dolce Gabbana, Dior, CK, Converse. It has an uh, uh, it has like a bounce to it. It's incredibly it's kind of elastic. And her boyfriend's in the shower, like going, "No, don't. it's so it's so funny." She is so funny, but Vietnamese is a language I'm not at all familiar with at all at oh, all. Cow. You're joking. No, in downsizing, she has a she is a Vietnam she plays a Vietnamese refugee oh, who she based on her Vietnamese. parents. Okay. And she speaks with that accent the whole movie. Even in Thailand when I was there, the, it didn't it sound I mean, obviously different languages are different. Bleh. Breaking news. Um but yeah, wild. BM BMW. Yeah. All right. Speaking of languages, this next guest. Yeah, we're we're talking only in Spanish. See you next week. Okay. Bye. Bye.